you know that every year in the United States there are 2.5 million weddings? Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Yes, that's a lot of weddings, y'all. Weddings can sometimes bring out the best of people. They can sometimes bring out the worst. The stress can be over the top. Yeah, um, I've noticed that people get a little tense. They do. Surrounding their wedding. Mm. I've been in a few, several, yeah, yeah. in fact. You've been in mine. I've been in your. I was in yours. Um, and you were actually not. I had to actually force you to be a little bit more tense. I know. Because you were like, t- I was like, dude, we got to put on makeup. <laughs> I, was, I was like, eh. I'm like, no, you can't do everyday makeup for today. That's I not know, how we do she it. was like, because I put on my makeup, but she was like, she you just looked at me and you were like, Really? Because I didn't I didn't hire anybody. I didn't that, care. That was fine with me. But I was like, girl, we got to put on more lip gloss than normal. I know. You I know, know what I mean? Like a little more ash. We got to hook it up. I know. Heather, we didn't know you then. We didn't know Heather then. We didn't know Our Heather. Our lives were empty in so many ways. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, we asked you, Frangelistas, whether you were a bridezilla or a cool, calm, and collected bride. Mm. And here's what you said. Yeah. Jennifer Bogart said, in wedding one, she says, I was fine until the mayor, who was officiating, did not show up and was found in a bar and that is when I punched a wall and tore my sleeve. She's like, but when do we were fine and dandy? Boom! You know what I like about that? When I started the sentence, I thought she was going to say she punched the mayor. Yes, yeah. I thought so, so too. I feel like punching the wall was a really good compromise. Was very good. That was very good. for good, you, Jennifer. Jennifer. And yes. then this is from um, at This Must Be News mm-hmm. saying I was, they were super chill. We did a luau theme. It was very casual and relaxed. A few snafus, but I just rolled with them was a super fun day. Aww. See, there's somebody who could be relaxed about it. I know it's hard when you've spent, some people have spent their lives thinking about that yes, day. Yes, yes, yes. So they put a lot of pressure on themselves. Exactly. And all of us. And all of us. All of us. We found one bride's rules, rules, y'all, for her wedding on Reddit. And let's just say that they were so strict that they were almost too hard to believe. First of all, she told everybody, please arrive 15 to 30 minutes early. That, I believe, was one of those things where you're like, was that really for everyone or just the same, the two people that we know are always late? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? It's, it, I'm going to tell you something that makes Angela really angry okay. is getting the note for other people that should go to other people but giving a general note for everybody. Yeah, we all know it's Amy who's always late. Why yes. are you telling all of us mm-hmm. to be here early? Because we all know you got to just tell Amy, this is what you know. People would, we, we do with people who are always late, is we just tell them the wrong time. That's right. <laughs> you just tell them a half hour earlier than the thing already is. Mm-hmm. That helps. But I thought that was crazy then. Please do not wear white cream or ivory. That's just good manners. That's just manners. That's I guess, good manners. you know what, you, maybe you do have to say that. That's not so bad. But then, please do not wear anything other than a basic bob or ponytail. And I was like, really? Oh, no, you didn't. No, you won't tell me how to wear my hair? I got to get a ponytail now? <laughs> or a bob? What if I don't have enough hair for a bob oh. or a ponytail? <laughs> Thank you. I can't, I, that's not, I can't wear a nice shag Michelle Williams kind of Mia Farrow thing. <laughs> yeah, what, what if I have a mullet and I'm proud of it? That's right. Why are you trying to control my hair, dude? That's yes. just crazy. Yeah. Please do not have a full face of makeup. Oh my goodness. What is that about? I don't know. <laughs> is Let that, me tell you oh, something. I can wear makeup, but you can't? Let me tell you something. Some of us are older and we need a full face, okay? What do you mean by a full face? Because I don't know how to do like a two thirds of face. What the <laughs> heck? I don't even know what that means. Yeah. Do not record the ceremony. Whatever. Whatever. Do not check in on Facebook until instructed. Instructed. Instructed is what got me. The word choice is poor. Instructed. And then um, everyone will toast with Remy, no exceptions. <laughs> What if people don't want drink? Yeah. And well, I don't want I, Remy. I, I don't like Remy. No, it's thick. <laughs> yes, it's, it's too thick. thick. I, I don't like that. You know what? Just That's the thing where I'd be like, everybody pull out your own liquor. <laughs> yes. Because that's just too much. Mm. These last two rules are the absolute pièce de résistance. Yes. Do not talk to the bride at all. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Lastly, <laughs> must come with gifts of $75 or more or you won't be admitted. Which I cannot believe. What if it's 74.97? <laughs> you gonna be like, out. Out. Oh, that is crazy. Well, let's welcome event planner Stacy Ruiz into our studio. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacey. How are you guys? Thank you for having me. So, tell us this. Is it, is it, should it be, it's her, it's her day, her way? Or, this is crazy, right? Yes. Those are, are those crazy wedding rules, or have you heard worse? No, those are definitely some of the craziest uh, wedding rules that I've heard. <laughs> uh, definitely, when you say, you know, her day or his day, his way, her day, her way, uh, I think that there's a fine line. I think we can all say that with everything in life. It's mm. kind of like this is a fine line that you're going in between. So, um, don't make it a boot camp for your guest. Right. You want your guest to have fun. Mm-hmm. So, uh, definitely... Stay within the the normal range. The don't wear the cream, the ivory. That makes sense. Yes. You know, 
a lot of couples nowadays are kind of gearing more towards the no technology during the ceremony. Mm -hmm. And the reason is they want people to enjoy it with them. Yes. They want them to see their wedding with their eyes, not through their cell phone, and then look at it later. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that those are kind of the more... I would, I would give those rules a little bit more, but uh, the other ones are absolutely out of this yeah. world. Do not talk to the bride yeah. at all. Well, that's what I mean. If you don't want to talk, if you don't want anyone talking, Why you, you just elope. Elope. Yeah. Elope. Thank you, Stacey. You don't you don't see, that's that's the right. expert who just yeah. told you you're elope. crazy. Well, also, it feels like we're sh this person is having a reality TV wedding. Yeah, and they're yeah. not. And, and they're not. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, 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 and the, the, they want people to look a certain way. They want a certain color scheme. I mean, even if somebody shows up to your wedding in white or ivory or cream, Deal with it, it. Deal with it. Yeah. It's going to be... Everybody knows that that chick is not the bride. Yeah, you are the bride. So are you at these events? Have you ever had to talk a bride or a groom down? Uh, so, I mean, the only... I Luckily, I haven't had anyone who's been too, too crazy. Mm -hmm. I think the strictest rule that we've mm -hmm. had at, uh, at one of the weddings is I did a, a higher-profile client's wedding. And... Uh, oh, girl. You could tell us at the break. Tell just us tell, break. Just I'll tell you at the break. Okay. Uh, and uh, <laughs> they were obviously selling it to a publication mm -hmm. and uh, didn't want anyone to have any access because they had full access to the wedding. Right. And so we had a, a uh, almost like a coat check, but a phone check. Ooh. So people had to drop their phones off and get a ticket and go get their phones later. Mm. So no cell phones allowed in the wedding at all. Interesting. Yes. That I makes think sense. it was Anna's yeah. uh, <laughs> So <laughs> should the bride have the right to set her own rules, do you think? To an extent. Definitely to an extent. But also, I think more than ever nowadays, I think it should definitely be the bride and groom. I think I see a lot more grooms that are being more involved. So mm -hmm. I think when you have that balance mm -hmm. of the bride and the groom both setting the rules or the groom and the groom or the bride That's and the bride. That's what I was going to say. Like, if you get yeah. two bridezillas or two groomzillas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, I've had the groomzillas. <laughs> more than, more than Worse than the brides, actually. Wow. <laughs> Uh, wow, well, that's, um, a, that's another show, girl. That's another show. All right, well, thank you so much for being here, Stacey. Thank you. Me Time with Frangela.